everyone, my name is Python and welcome back to another episode of Python's Realm, the Terraria Let's Play, which is quite simply out of this world. Um, it's not really, I'm just saying that because I'm in my meteorite base and meteorites are from out of this world, so, uh, 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 uh anyways, moving on. <laughs> Guys, thank you very much for the support you showed in the last episode and indeed for the series in general. It is super appreciated as per the norm, my friends. Now, if you want to continue showing your support for the series, if you're excited for this episode, then do be sure to head down below the video, drop a like rating, because it is the best way to let me know if you want to see more. Now, obviously, we're going to head into the fan art festival, which is coming in from Tyler Potato, and he decided to go ahead and make a combat scene in the corruption. It is my Terraria character versus the Eater of Worlds, and I love, love the art style of this. The coloring is amazing. I'm trying to figure out what it was painted on. I'm almost thinking like canvas. Is it like a canvas painting? It looks canvas. It looks amazing, Tyler. Thank you very much. I really do appreciate it. It is amazing. If you guys want to send in your fan up for a chance of yours being used and your name shouted out, details on screen and of course in the description as per the norm. Now before we do anything, I just want to quickly address the fact that uh, yes, I did completely forget to do the comment question of the video in the last episode and I do apologize about that, but it is coming in from the Knitting Nutter, which, by the way, I recognize that name from my live stream, so I appreciate the comment. Python, are you going to have themed bases? For example, the magic base can be in the hallowed biome. By the way, Python, love your content. Keep the good work. I appreciate the kind words, buddy. And yeah, yeah, absolutely. I will be having themed bases. You know, we've got the meteorite theme here. And yeah, I actually really love that idea of having the magic tower or magic base in the hallowed biome, because hallowed kind of magic, they sort of tie in maybe maybe not but i don't know i think they tie in because of the bright colors and such but uh yeah do you know what we're gonna do we're gonna do the common question video for this episode as well which kind of nicely segues from this one which is you should make a hive base where all of the rooms in it are in the shape of a hexagon and you can store slash use it for any queen bee related things also maybe you can make a small house base or shrine to each of the bosses you take down and put their trophies or drops in it that is also a really good idea. I love the idea of having like a bunch of shrines, like an array of shrines to all of the bosses in the game and then just put all of their drops in it. That's a really, really cool idea, Anonymous Potato. Thank you very much for that. That's really awesome. I just realized as well, <laughs> we've got a bit of an invasion of the potatoes. Anonymous Potato here. Tyler Potato with the fan art. Invasion of the potatoes this episode, my friends. But uh, oh, oh, that's a human quack as well. <laughs> Oh, I love the human quack. It is funny to me. It really, really is. But anyways, guys, so today, if you haven't figured out from the title already, we are going to be making ourselves a elevator in addition to exploring the rest of the dungeon. Now, here's the plan, okay? Here is the plan. So you see we've got this little mound over here with the sort of natural cave entrance. This, we are going to be converting into a mining base. Oh, look at that. A tree just grew, so a bunch of leaves fell out. Huh, that's kind of cool. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, like I say, we're going to be converting this into a mining base eventually. So we're going to have like a room for copper, a room for platinum, all that kind of stuff. And better still, the rooms are actually going to be made out of those resource blocks as well. So when we get the DCU, the drill containment unit eventually, then uh, making that base is going to be a lot easier. But... What it does mean is, in the meantime, I can make myself a elevator in here because that's where I would like it to be. It kind of makes sense, you know, having a base for mining stuff and then having a elevator in it. it. It just, it goes hand in hand, doesn't it, guys? So, that is what we're going to do. We're going to head over to that mound just so we can sort of recon the area, see what's going down. And then, yeah, we'll make a start in the elevator. All right, guys. So, here we are. We are at the mound, the mining mound, as I think I'm going to call it for now, unless I come up with a proper name for this little area. Uh, but, yeah, we're at the mining mound. And as you can see, like I say, there's a whole bunch of stuff going on here. Uh, it's quite a nice shaped mountain. It really, really is. Like, I should just be able to carve out the inside and then just make a whole bunch of rooms, right? Seems pretty simple. So, yeah, we're going to be trying to make ourselves a elevator. And I'm thinking that maybe here, which I believe is... Sl I'd say that's slap bang in the middle. Maybe maybe over here, perhaps. I think this might be the slap bang in the middle. 
Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna say that that's the middle. Okay, cool. Right, I mean, we're rolling with it now. We've committed to the cause. So, yeah. But anyways, guys, for the most part, uh, about half of this, or maybe a third of this elevator, we're already gonna see stuff that we've already seen, I guess. So, uh, what that means is we're probably gonna go ahead and do a big old jump cut. And if we manage to find anything interesting in the unexplored realms as we go down, then I'll bring you guys back. And we'll see what's going on. Well, guys, i tell you something I definitely won't complain about is uh, accidentally managing to fall into a gem cave. I mean, this is pretty cool, right? I mean, we've got we've got sapphires, we've got topaz. Not a bad selection, eh? Not a bad selection indeed. Oh, no. There had to... Oh, hello. <laughs> well, that'll do nicely then, won't it? I was just going to say, oh, there had to be a spider bime in the way. And then, I, and then I find a webbed stylist. I mean, why not? Right, you can now go live in one of the houses upstairs. Cool. Hey, and a life crystal. Why not? All right, guys. So we are now down at lava level, and I found myself a skeleton merchant. I mean, that's pretty cool, right? We've got ourselves a purple counterweight here. I cannot remember if we have a counterweight, so we may have just bought ourselves a second one accidentally. But I'll uh, tell you something. I would not mind one of these or another stack of these. <clears throat> there we go. That's pretty good, isn't it, guys? Pretty darn good. Right, now then, I have a bit of a predicament in that I have come across a lava body and therefore I need to uh, I need to get some water up in this business. I need to make that into obsidian. And uh, maybe we could kill two birds with one stone or many birds with one stone. We can maybe get ourselves a an obsidian skull, right? That'd be pretty cool, right? Yeah, all we need to do is find ourselves a water body. And hopefully, there isn't one too far away. There's one over here somewhere, just behind here. Yeah, okay, cool. Right. Let's go get that water. Let's get some obsidian. Well, guys, you know how in the last episode I was the master of the bees? Well, today, it would seem that I am the master of the lava up until I probably get killed, which I probably will, to be honest. Oh, God, let's go. <laughs> there we go. So, uh, yeah, I'm trying to drain all of this lava from this massive pool all the way down to the underworld. As you can see, there is a direct sort of link going down to it. And uh, yeah, I want to drain it out so I can go ahead and continue my elevator because I don't know, I can't be bothered to go up and get water and obsidianize all of this. And yeah. <laughs> but uh, whatever the case, my friends, I mean, all I got to do really is just wait. Wait until this perilous lava has gone somewhere else and left me alone. <laughs> Uh, let's be honest, it'll probably kill me at some point. And ladies and gentlemen, here we are, the underworld. Oh boy, that took a long time. That actually really, really did take a long time. Like, I've been recording now for 50 minutes, and we're probably only a portion of the way through the episode. <laughs> oh man, if this winds up going out later than normal, then uh, yeah, this is why. I've been, I've been digging out a elevator, guys. But for good reason, for good reason, it'll allow us to get down here. A lot easier without dying a whole bunch, all that kind of stuff. It's going to be very, very functionally useful, uh, you know, in future. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely glad that I did it. And, uh, yeah, now that we have done it, we can we can make ourselves an obsidian skull. And then if we manage to find ourselves a cobalt shield, then we can go on from there, right? And then everything will be cool. Good day to you, sirs. I hope you're doing well. <laughs> right, let's get back. So we're not going to be exploring the underworld in today's episode. We are going to be uh, going back to the dungeon. We want to try and find ourselves some more things indeed. So there we go. We've got five golden keys, which is very nice. We've got ourselves a goodie bag as well. Hey, look at this, guys. Vampire gear. That's pretty cool. So for those of you guys who haven't noticed already, uh, I decided to buy the familiar clothing set from the cloth here. And uh, yeah, I, I now look like myself again. But uh, it is it is October. It is the Halloween event. So why not go vampire? <laughs> it's kind of funny when you think about it because I've got two capes now. The vampire shirt is like a cape. And then I've got the red cape on top of it. I am double caping it up, guys. How about that, eh? How many people can say that they're double caping it up? I think it's pretty badass. <laughs> oh, dear. Anyways, guys. So, we're going to head back to the dungeon. We are on the look for a handgun. And maybe, in addition to that, a cobalt shield as well. Those are the only two real things that I may need. Uh, a shadow key, actually, now thinking about it. A shadow key might be useful to our cause as well. Maybe get some uh, hell-related weapons. That would be nice. The hell ring bow is pretty damn cool. I will say that straight off the rip. So, yeah. Anyways, let's get over to the dungeon. And we're going to go hunting 
for Link. Alrighty guys, so check it out. I've got eight golden keys at this point. Uh, I managed to get like three dungeon slimes to spawn like literally right after each other just as I came into the dungeon, which is, I guess, pretty cool. We had five already, so, you know, eight is a good start. So ladies and gentlemen, let the looting commence. Oh, that is a fantastic start. That's one of the things we were actually looking for, my friends. Brilliant stuff by every stretch of the imagination. Right, now, if everyone down here can like die, that would be fan dabba dozy. Look at this, man. The bee's knees is destroying everyone. And also, there's yet another dungeon slime. Damn, son. All right, well, there's another locked gold chest over here, so let the let the loot fest continue. And, uh, yeah, let's let's hope for epicness. What is it? Uh, a ruthless blue moon. Okay, that might actually be useful. It does 27 damage, which is a pretty good amount, it has to be said. So, might as well keep it for experimental purposes. We may find some sort of use for it eventually. <laughs> okay, well, there's an Aqua Scepter, so we can go ahead and pee on everybody now. That's fantastic. One of the coolest ways to kill people in Terraria is by peeing on them. So, yeah, makes sense. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, that's quite funny. I'd love to take down a boss just by weeing on them. That would actually be kind of hilarious. Right, anyways, let's uh, keep going. We've got the magic missile here, which is awesome. Good day to you, sirs. Either of you going to give me a Nazar? No. No Nazar for the Pythonator. Well, isn't that a little bit sad? Well, this isn't sad, though. Hey, a mythical Aqua Scepter. The best prefix that you can get for magical weapons is mythical, so... You know, our luck with the epic prefixes continues. I am very much a fan of this. <laughs> and also all of these water candles, because we may find them useful for farming. <laughs> Yee, buddy. We're coming across all sorts here, my friends. All sorts indeed. And you know what? I'll take some of this as well. Another blue moon. Okay, I guess that's kind of cool. I won't complain about it. But the ruthless one is indeed better. So, you know, we need to... We need to get something better than that. Maybe a legendary one. That would be pretty cool, wouldn't it? Good day to you, sir. Man, this bee's knees is just brilliant. I love it so much. I really do. Like I say, it's one of the... It's one of, if not the best pre hard mode ranger weapon you can get. Wait, what is it? Another magic missile? Mate, I don't need this anymore, mate. Oh, hello. Huh, wasn't expecting to come across a normal chest at this depth, but you know what? Once again, no complaints from me. All right. All right, what about this one? Oh, a handgun. We found a handgun at long last, guys. That's pretty cool. I will take it. I'll roll with it. We can upgrade that into the Phoenix Blaster. And, uh, you know, make a whole bunch of people's days bad. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Sweet. Okay, right. Now, as far as I know, the last thing to find is going to be... Uh, we've got the Valor. Uh, the Valor Yo-Yo. And then, of course, we also have... What is it called? What is it called? Ah, oh, it was one of the things we were looking for. Shadow key. Yeah, there we go. Stuff that we need. Stuff that we need. There's plenty of it. And all we got to do is go hunting. So, yeah, that's what we're going to do. Hey, there's the Valor. Not bad. We've got two stacks of torches. Do we really need that? Probably not. But, you know, I, I can't really bring myself to throw them away. Because, uh, you know, they may wind up being useful eventually. Uh, but we'll put the ammo away because we can just get that back any time, to be honest. So... That is not too much of an issue. But uh, yeah, like I say, my friends, the last thing, the last thing we are looking for at this point is now the shadow key. So if we could find one, that would be amazing. There was, oh, hello, another alchemy station. I do already have one, don't worry. I've got one back at base. I just haven't placed it down yet. So yeah, I'm not missing it on purpose. I'm missing it because the inventory space. Although with that said, I just realized I've got a money trough. And in addition to that, off camera, I also bought a safe. I mean, why have I not been utilizing this? Come on, Python. You've been playing this game for enough time. You should know that this is something you should be doing. Come on, you dumb doofus brain. Ah, oh, jeez, man. I'll tell you something. Sometimes I outdo myself with how stupid I am, but... Eh, oh, well. Right, we need to get rid of this thing. Eh, get rid. There we go. Fantastic. All right, so... This is... Aha! There's the shadow key, guys. And as far as I can remember, I believe that's going to be everything you can get in the dungeon, right? Every bit of loot that you can get, I do believe. I don't think I've missed anything out. I really don't. We've got the Muramasa already back at base. Uh, I mean, either way, we don't... Oh, there is a... There is a... 
slime there. Let's go and kill him. Might as well get the key, open that chest, see what's in there. And uh, we'll go from there. Right, that is another Muramasa. We don't need it, but I will take it. We'll sell it. There is a shark statue. That might come in useful. There's a water bolt, which is superior. Not bad. It's certainly superior to the one I already have, being 21 magic damage as opposed to 19. Eee, that's pretty cool. Right, well, whatever the case, like, we really do. I I'm pretty sure we have everything that you can get from the dungeon. So... I mean, if we need to come back here, then, I mean, I guess that's okay. But for now, we don't really need to be here. So, yeah. So, yeah, we've TP'd back to base, guys. And, uh, do you know what? I think it's been a successful episode by all accounts, honestly. Like, we've done a lot of cool things today. We've uh, we've got a elevator dug out. We've got a whole bunch of other stuff going. And like I said, I'm just, I'm just feeling pretty good about it. So, ladies and gentlemen, I think on that note, it is going to be time to end this episode here. So, guys, I want to thank you for watching. If you are enjoying the series and you want to continue showing your support, a like rating would be super appreciated. Hit that subscribe button if you don't want to miss out on future content, my friends. And that is going to wrap it up. Thanks for watching, folks. And I'll see you in the next episode.